no matter what type of practice, practice you choose, there's going to be a structure that you need to follow. When you come into a new practice, if there's, there should be policies and procedures, manuals, there should be written protocols for every operation that you do. Staff members require constant training, supervision, and retention. In our organization, we have monthly meetings. We have um, annual retreats to look at a three, a five, and a 10-year plan for future planning. So when you come into your organization, you want to know the direction that they're going into. Communication is going to be key to everything in private practice. Front office and back office, assign responsibility. Defining roles and empowering people to you know, help make changes within your organization for success. Uh, you should have regular staff performance reviews, which you guys should be part of as these employees are working for you and with you daily. The first point of contact with your practice and with you as a physician is the person that answers your phone. That person should be cordial, polite, set the expectations for the practice, let them know exactly what's going to be expected, talk about a copay policy, you need to pay your copays when you come in, talk about if they need a referral or, you know, if they need, um, if they need, they need to bring their insurance cards with them or they need to bring their driver's license with them, photo ID, just set the expectations. When the patients back in, you're going to have the same conversation. So you're going to start the expectation at the scheduling piece. You're going to follow up. It's, you're going to be consistent. Because if you are not consistent, you will find that patients will not be consistent. Set that standard within your practice right up front. So we've got the office encounter. We've got documentation to support testing and imaging. We've got documentation to support procedures. We've got lab. And then um, you just want to make sure that your documentation, your summary, and your plan is really kind of painting the picture, telling the story. Think of if your, your patient's leaving your practice and you're giving them the summary. And, and you're really not clear of what your plan is. You really you know, didn't give kind of an overview. You should try to do a summary at the end so that they can you know, see the impression in the plan. If you guys don't take anything away from my presentation today, I, I hope you take this away. Don't ever get involved with financials with patients. Don't ever you know, have somebody say to you, I can't afford my copay today. You may have, they may have a insurance company where they have a $75 deductible. The allowable for a 99213 might be $79. Do you think that you will remain in business making $4 on a patient? Patients need to pay their copays. If, if they need to discuss it with somebody, Refer them to your administrator or your billing manager. If you don't have a billing manager, it's going to fall to the administrator. Many physician practices, we wear a lot of hats. We do multitasking. But just know who that is, but don't ever get involved with um, financial conversations. Become involved in your practice. It is your business. This is your future.